Great finds today. One of the ultimate things you could have got back in the 80s. Yes, this is a ghetto blaster. This thing is huge, awesome, cool, loud. This is the this is the Helix HK4636. The great thing about this, you have two cassettes. Yes, two cassettes. So you can record and play. And you can make your own mixtape. Oh yeah, making your mixtape doesn't like mix. Nothing says '80s like mixtapes, and nothing says '80s like a big old ghetto blaster. This has everything: chrome, all kinds of. This this one even has a shortwave radio. Two bands of a shortwave radio. I've never heard anyone use a shortwave radio with a ghetto blaster, but who cares? Because you can. It's got woofers. It's got tweeters. It's got. A graphic equalizer. It's got volume. I guess that everyone has volume. It has headphones. I don't know why you would ever use that. But. Beat out radio. I mean just. Everything you need. Including shortwave radio. In case you want to talk to someone in Nova Scotia. These even light up. Have a cool little thing. I don't know if they do anything. These are antennas. There's no internet to download there was no songs to rip off this was the ultimate thing to have a ghetto blaster now this is ultimate and speaking of ultimate i also got a little figure of the ultimate warrior now the ultimate warrior is probably one of the coolest wrestlers that ever lived he's a hall of famer unfortunately we lost the ultimate warrior not too long ago and i looked up his bio and his wife, his last name is Warrior. His last name is Warrior. I just think that's a cool thing. I mean, just, who's going to argue with this guy? Now, this guy, when I say ultimate, he's the ultimate, ultimate toy. He can, he looks great next to a ghetto blaster. He looks great on top of a ghetto blaster. He looks great anywhere because he's the ultimate warrior. Now, we're coming up on Christmas time. So, I did find, to get one of these. This is the Sterling cellophane wreath complete with lamp cord and plug this is from the 50s that means you didn't need warnings or instructions it was complete with lamp cord and plug figure it out there's not an instruction anywhere that's all it says sterling just plug it in if you're not that smart you don't deserve to have a sterling cellophane wreath now i did take the time to plug this in and ser oh, seriously this is just basically red pieces of plastic that is a red light can't see it right now with this awesome thing there's no way to turn this off by the way because nothing says merry christmas than a highly flammable tiny pieces of plastic electricity and a lamp you cannot turn off I mean, this was the 50s. They had cool stuff. They didn't care about safety. This was about looking good, looking cool, lighting things up, having a wreath. I mean, enough. This is, this is, and just, just to show you, I wasn't kidding. Even the Ultimate Warrior looks good in cellophane. Wreath. Yeah, that's, it's literally plastic. The Ultimate Warrior, see, he still agrees. Now, I did find this other Christmas item, which I thought was interesting. Now, this is from this is this is from Ecuador, and this probably took someone hours and hours and hours to make. There's a donkey, I believe that is Joseph and Jesus, Jesus and Mary. I see Joseph has a nose, Mary does not. Neither does Jesus. So that was maybe they ran out of that little red little ribbon there. Now, Joseph is dressed like he's he's going to some sort of formal ball. He's got the good sash and everything else. Looks like Mary has a Hawaiian theme for the party. Oh, she's... Some, that's unfortunate. She's losing some of her hair. And you can, you can actually go in here and keep all your treasures. Um, but this probably took a lot of time. It probably didn't cost a lot. But I just thought it was a neat item. Um, there's the donkey obviously handmade and nice little christmas gift 
something that I got from Garth Gaines. This is this is pre Google. This is now you Google stuff when you want to fix it. This was the fix it fast set. You would buy this if you wanted to fix anything. I haven't looked at this, but we can see that there's a bunch of cards. You would probably you'd buy this and then you'd buy them all and they'd send them in the mail and you would be broke by the next Christmas. But this is cool. Basic window and door repair. We all need these floor repair. How do you how do you use tools? Well, I've got to see the index. Let me see. Let's see how to use a hammer. Boy, if you don't know how to use a hammer, you're probably in trouble. Um, oh, it has its own card. Let's see. How to use a hammer card. How to use a hammer. Well, you, first you got to buy a hammer, of course. Um, hold your wrist stiff. Good. Take a few practice swings. Um, hold the nail straight. And I don't see anything about here, but it says do not hit your finger. But you will. Because there are two types of carpenters in this world. People who hit their fingers and liars. That's how to use a hammer. Oh, it has instructions. Oh, well, there's... The face, of course, you want to hit that with the face. 90 degree angle. Nice job. What is the cheek of the handle? I don't believe I knew that. Let's see what else we have. Well, how to use a screwdriver. Boy, you'd be in real trouble. Um, well, how to buy a screwdriver. I mean, someone someone typed all these up and sold it to somebody. Um, select the screwdriver that matches the screw. That's probably good advice. Um, use an awl or an ice pick. No one has ice picks anymore. I I don't know, just serial killers, but yeah, let me see how you use. There's an ice pick. Gently tap. There's screw head. Or as we were told, righty tidy, lefty loosey. There we go. I use a cross cut saw, hand drill. I don't know anyone who has ever used a hand drill. Buying one, probably go to an antique store. Let's see. Yep, there's a hand drill. Well, if you want to take a lot of time and probably be extremely frustrated, use a hand drill. They're unreliable. They're tough to use. But apparently, that'll give you some sort of small appliance repair. Of course, introduction. Ooh, should you replace your outdoor TV antenna? Something people don't worry about. Make it lightning. Electric irons. That doesn't look like an electric iron, but it only takes 20 minutes to fix your iron. I've never heard of anyone actually fixing their iron. But hey, in case you want to know, that's cool. Electric blenders, percolators. If you want to have terrible coffee and you miss that, electric hair dryers, mixers. Oh, this is this is just. Faulty door chimes. Yeah, whatever. There's some there's some basic how-to. You know, you've got a I, I don't know what you're doing there, but let's see what the index is there. How to use a ladder safely. That's that's good. How to cut glass. No one's gonna be doing that. How to use glue. Well, the right batteries to use. See, because like with the sterling, they didn't have directions. You just had to figure it out. Painting and wallpapering, that probably hasn't changed. Well, maybe not. That. I'll teach you how to be this couple. Which, get a nice little <laughs> floral scene. You can wallpaper the ceiling. I don't know. Now, these tools are still there. These, this hasn't changed. That may have changed. Painting wallpaper. I don't know what you have here. Insulation, heating and, heating and cooling. Yeah, show people a picture of that. See what they think. Lisa. Oh, yeah. Got to refinish furniture. I have a cup of tea. Insulation. Or as I call it, how to be itchy. Let's save you insulation index. That tells you. Well, let's see. Well, you can save up to $24. Oh, let's, let's put that back. Anyway. Wall and ceiling, regrouting. This is... This particular set is basically the Google of yesteryear. Instead of going to YouTube or finding out how to fix something, you would just get out this handy little thing. 
and fix it fast. It is the ultimate repair guide. Now I found just one more thing. And it's an old toy. And probably what someone younger would not be aware of. It is a plastic telephone with bell. It's washable, sanitary, and durable. That's what we need today. See, you can talk on the phone. Phones used to have cords. I open this, and this is, well, this is, this thing is old. So, those of you who don't know, this is a receiver. You would hang that up. It has a bell on it. It's a little dirty. Instead of pressing buttons or just pressing someone's name, you would dial. Oh, this is awesome. You have to wait till this thing came. Oh, it won't, it won't do anything until the phone's off the hook. See, this does not come with instructions. It's just a plastic toy. If you don't know it's a telephone, you probably shouldn't be out in public. You had, you had the numbers there so you could dial. You would, put, you would write your number there. You didn't actually own the phones back then, but you would all the way around. That's just cool. You can call the Ultimate Warrior, which would be awesome. So anyway, this is this is not only oh there we go. This is not only educational. It's, it's old, but as I say, it fits right in the box. Looks like the box is a little worse for wear. But a plastic telephone. This looks like it's from 1948, and even back then they were sanitary. But as I said before, no directions. If you don't know how to use a phone, you probably shouldn't be using one because you can have fun talking on the phone. And wherever the phone was, that's how far you could go. How long this string was, there was a lot of conversations that used to happen in just in the kitchen only until you got a longer cord. You couldn't hide in your room. So anyway, this is the some of the ultimate items that we got in today. I think this is one of the coolest things we've got. Um, it's nice and loud. Now you can get a speaker about the size of the Ultimate Warrior these days that will be just as loud as this, but it's cool. So if you would, please like, subscribe, and share, comment, tell me I did anything wrong. It is just an awesome piece of history. 80s history, 40s, 50s, 70s, 80s. Of course, has no limits on generations because he is the ultimate warrior.